should be free. Oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? <coughs> iMovie Tutorials guy here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a muzzle flash in iMovie, which is something that a lot of people have requested, um, including eight is a number and um, Surferman Spore 23. <coughs> so, um, I'm gonna open up iMovie. And um, the, for this tutorial, you're going to need to have another program, which is free and is so easy to download, called GIMP. Um, GIMP, you can just find it by searching GIMP in the um, Google search, and, you'll, and you can just find it, find it for the um, Mac. I just click download and for you can just you know download anything download what you want and it's also available on Windows but if you're using iMovie then you won't need need it um so um let's find a video so um here here's something where we uh gun action movie I made with my friends Okay, so now I found the footage where he shot shot me. Um, so I'm gonna have that and put it into a new project. So let's call this one Muzzle Flash. Sorry if if my voice is a little weird. It's in the morning, so. Okay, so. There you go. And then you're going to go by frame by frame, either by using your mouse or using the um, right and left arrows on your keyboard. So he should shoot about right now. So, so you're going to... Okay, so I found the frame that he's going to shoot, and I'm going to right click by pressing Control and just click. Or if you have enabled right click on your um, mouse. Then you're gonna click Add Freeze Frame. So now this will put the clip into two different clips and have a freeze frame. Oh. Now you're gonna play the video whole full screen, and then hit and then pause it. I paused it on the freeze frame, and then take a full screen screenshot of it by clicking Command. I mean, holding down Command Shift Three, and if you hear that that little camera shutter sh sound, and then um, you took the picture, and it'll be on your desktop like this. So now we're gonna open up GIMP. And click on the little dog sign. Open. Okay, so now that GIMP is um, on, we're, we can we're gonna open up the screenshot, which is right here, by clicking File, Open, Desktop, and find the screenshot that we need, which is this. I'm gonna open it. Click Convert. And here we have this. Um, so now what you're going to need to do is um, find a muzzle flash from the internet. You can either find, um, there's a lot, if you just search muzzle flash on Google Images. I would recommend just getting a, um, a bigger muzzle flash like this rather than this because um, because if you have this, once you enlarge it, it'll be all pixely. So um, you want you want um, something like that or that. Those these are the two I use for front muzzle flashes and s side muzzle flashes. So I'm gonna drag this one because I had mine was from the side. So we can X out of there, and now we're gonna file open again. This time on the desktop, but open up the muzzle flash now. 
Now on the muzzle flash, you're going to click colors and then color to alpha. From white to alpha, it'll start out. You're going to click on that bar and make it all the way black. So now, as you see, the um, um, gray and white checkerboard pattern indicates that it's clear behind that muzzle flash. And the muzzle flash is the only thing that will show up. So now you're going to click Edit Copy. Now go back to this one and click Edit Edit Paste. Now, as you see, you have perfect muzzle flash sit, sit, a perfect muzzle flash sitting right here in your frame with no black background. So now you can drag it to where you want it to be um, and mess around with it using um, these three tools. This tool, which allows you to move around the muzzle flash. This tool, which rotates the muzzle flash. Um, this tool, which will just flip it if if you um, the muzzle flash is facing the wrong way. This tool to resize it, to scale it, and the perspective tool in case yours your muzzle flash was at a, a kind of weird angle. Your gun. So um, you're gonna drag it there and resize it. The muzzle flash should be fairly big actually. Um, so drag it up to there. That looks good. And make sure um, the right side is the, you want the big part facing um, you. The you want the um, not the little corner part. A lot of people got their muzzle flash like like that, but that's not right. You can have it like that. Um, since my gun was blurred, I'm gonna see if I can blur this. Where's the blur? Smudge. Blur slash sharpen. So I'm gonna double click on it. Oh, cool. So I don't have to do much, but it's making it a little more blurry, so that's fine. Um, so that looks good. We're going to anchor it by using the move tool and clicking outside the box. Actually, if it, if you, if once you anchor it, you decide it looks a little too bad, um, misplaced, you're going to, you can just click edit, undo anchor floating selection, and then drag it to where you want it. So now you can just, um, click X, save, and it'll save it down here. And all you do is wait for it, and then once it's finished, you can just quit X11 with skimp. And your screenshot will be replaced with the one with the muzzle flash. So now you're going to open iMovie back up. And drag in the muzzle flash and put it where the original one without the muzzle flash is. It's this, and you can delete this one. So now you have this one. But um, the <coughs> cropping Ken Burns tool will automatically be applied to it. So you're going to click on that, click the cropping tool, and click fit. Um, now you can just um, double click on it and set the duration, make it 0 0.1 seconds. And then even after that you can cut, keep cutting parts out until, I think that's all you can do. So as you see when I cut that much out, I think you can only delete half of it, so you could only delete... No, it's too much. So, and you can just cut out until you until you think that's enough. Um, let's say I want this much cut out. No, so that's too much. So, 
Only do it until you can't. Otherwise, it'll disappear. It's not the best mods of Flash in the world. It's better to do it on better edit editing programs. Um, you can also, you know, put your own thing in by adding a video effect to it or just, um, just, you know, or the brightness and contrast and stuff of that frame. So now, and sometimes it'll freeze on the muzzle flash and just replay it. Um, so there you have it. That's how you do a muzzle flash in iMovie. You can easily download a um, gun sound effect from any website I would recommend, soundbible.com, which is what you would think it is, just soundbible.com. It has a bunch of great free sound effects that all you do is just download them as a file. Um, and you can, and they'll automatically go into your iTunes, and um, it's so easy to load them onto iMovie. Um, so, so you can just get a sound effect, you want the first one, and place it to where you want it to be. So there you have it. That's your um, gunshot slash muzzle flash effect in iMovie. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. See you in the next tutorial. Again, this tutorial is requested by 8 is a number and Superman's board 23. Um, so, um, you, um, so if you created a, you know, an action movie or a, you know, just a small muzzle flash test, put it as a video response below and I'll try to comment and see and watch your video. Um, so, um, please make sure to subscribe to me above if you like this tutorial, like or comment, please comment below also tell me what, um, what you liked about this tutorial or what I can change in my future tutorials. And again, I'm going to start doing tutorials on Final Cut Pro 10, if you have that, which is, um, as you see, the layout is similar to iMovie. And, um, it's a great editing program, but it costs $300, so you might not have the money. But, so, anyways, um, see you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye.